coming to the school. I knew I'd be doing like short independence and stuff like that, but this is something that just completely blew my mind. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. This is my fifth week here at the school and I'm already on a set like this. It, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. I just couldn't believe it. Plate armor and, and swords and daggers and all sorts of cool little toys to play with. After going through this, I feel like we have something amazing that we've made. Compendium is the first ever school-wide VFS project that incorporates all aspects of what we do here, everything from vetting the original IP all the way through producing films and embedding it in an interactive application that ultimately ends up on the iPad and is sold for charity. Compendium is a very, very, very important part of a VFS student's year. It gets them out of the classroom to create something that can compete in the marketplace. Every four months, the new class of EBM students has the honor and responsibility of coming up with the subject matter for the next volume of Compendium. They then come up with concepts and they pitch them to a panel. We had the Odyssey, we had the Art of War, we had Alice in Wonderland minus Alice. So there was a lot of options that we came up with. The winning pitch was Homer's Odyssey. It encompasses so many standard stories that are told today throughout all forms of entertainment, books, um, films, games, you know, it, it's all over. Our project focuses on the work of a different public domain author every time, and obviously the Wikipedia organization has a huge mandate to further public domain knowledge. We really thought about Wikimedia Foundation, what they're all about, talked about the, the means to educate and entertain, which I also think VFS is all about, so I think it's a really exciting project for that reason. And there's some amazing stuff for the different departments to sink their teeth into. There's fantastic monsters, there's great characters, there's amazing set pieces and dramatic action. So it really had all the ingredients we needed. Make it something that all ages are going to like, whether, they, whether they're familiar with Homer's Odyssey or not. Compendium Volume 2 is Scylla, Sirens, Cyclops, and the Lotus Eaters. The scene today that we're shooting is the siren sequence. Well, uh, I'm Odysseus, I'm a king, and I've been on a ship for 10 years, and we're about to enter through an enclosed uh, section of, of the ocean where there are sirens. Scylla is about two rowers on Odysseus's ship, and they want, really want to go talk to Odysseus, but in the process, they get eaten by the Scylla. For the Cyclops, we focused on the part just before Odysseus stabs a creature in the eye. These men are terrified and are being picked out one by one to be eaten. You know, it's, in my eyes, it's a small price to pay for, for immortality. So in our version of the Lotus Eaters, we send out two gentlemen to collect firewood. They come across uh, these young Lotus Eaters who are offering them the lotus flower to eat. The lotus flower is sort of like a narcotic, so they kind of live in this sort of constant state of bliss. From the beginning, it was just kind of like this big learning curve, and then sort of hit the ground running really hard about a week ago. For the EBM students, it was a chance to experience all the phases of production, to give them a chance to take their work out of the theoretical realm. And this is a huge piece of portfolio for us because we, we will be able to get people to know us as producers and get people to know what BFS students are capable to doing. The first volume of, of Compendium was focusing on the work of H.P. Lovecraft, so we developed five special effects films. A lot of uh, 3D animation and, and motion graphics. This time they went the opposite direction and said, rather than place the burden on the post effects, we're going to go really big with the sets, with the costumes. But what that does is it proposes a whole new set of challenges. I'll be honest, I was a little worried about this one panning out in the end, until Marty Hasselback, the uh, managing director of the school, came to me and said, I got a boat. We managed to secure this old building called Storium. Storium is a Vancouver experiment where they wanted to combine storytelling with a museum. They left behind a Rocky Mountain forest. They left behind a 19th century ship. We were blown away when we saw the set for the first time. We never expected our companion project to be like this. It's just surreal to be on this crazy ship, right? With all my friends, my friends I go to school with, it's just a surreal moment how this could be my first project as an actor. 
The idea is that we all come together in a full high-end HD camera package and we make something that's really cool. Being able to see the whole process uh, from the beginning until the end, mounting up the set, mounting up the crew, gathering people, equipment, just putting it all together, it's really good for me. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in school that's really small, and this is full wardrobe, full makeup, high def, just, it's, it's awesome. Using their red cam was absolutely amazing. Toby, the DOP, I mean, I think everyone's kind of in awe of him. Nobody can believe when they look at the screen how amazing mm -hmm. it looks. It's an opportunity for all of the programs to integrate at a very high level. VFS puts out so many good students in so many separate disciplines, and EBM has done this amazing thing where they've created an opportunity for all of those departments to work together. It was such a good experience for me because, like, we don't really get a chance to work with a lot of them on a daily basis, so it was just, it was great. I loved it. Oh, I think one of the best parts of working on this project, too, is the fact that you get to network with all these people. Every department has a professional mentor that's brought in to oversee that department. I mean, it's obviously a great environment to learn. I don't think you learn anything better than when you're in the, you know, when you're on set and actually doing the, what you're learning about. The biggest challenge is getting the most production value humanly possible out of this. They have a budget of about $1,000 each, and they take that $1,000 and they make it look like $50,000. Biggest challenge was definitely the forest set. Just trying to get enough moss and ground cover and it's all been really, really challenging. All of our actors are current VFS students and uh, they've just been so professional. So it's been, it's been really great to meet some new talent. So the first time I got on set, I was so nervous. Yeah. And now that you know you get a little bit of experience, I'm like, ah, totally. I can do this. And I was really, really impressed with the whole makeup department and everything. It was, it looked really, really good. The sirens were in makeup for well over six hours. Well, it started at about quarter after eight this morning. We went into makeup. The first time doing like full body makeups on set for a movie, so that was definitely yeah. a huge learning experience for us. It was actually a lot of fun. I got all this stuff glued on me and just like coated in, in really, really sticky slime, which was fantastic. This has been really fun. I've been able to do stuff I would never have done. I got to do a wire pull and it was hard stuff and everything. Working with the rigging crew was like, was really exciting. I've never done stunts. It's great for them to have that experience because now with the way the film is, more actors are required to be able to do their own action. So I think it, that in term, that stuff has really broadened my knowledge. The EBM producers are amazing. I've been blown away with uh, just the level of professionalism and the amount of support that I've had as a director working with the EBM students. They're very helpful and attentive. I mean, they're helping out up in wardrobe, they're helping to make up their they're just making sure everything's getting done, so that's really nice. And I have to say, like, they're really eager and it was nice to work with them. I think it's going to show that we're jack of all trades. We've had production uh, experience now, we've been able to work on set, we've been able to line produce this specific project. It was really nice to work on something that's actually very professional. So getting to work like you would on feature films, you know, it's, it's a great experience. Twelve hours ago, I was in a fetal position, but uh, right now it, it's, it feels pretty good. So now we finished the production, and next time we're going to get into the post-production. We have editing to do, we have post effects, color correction, and... We're looking at either having a comic book to support the movie, having a game to go with the movie, which will eventually be released on the iPad. So there's just more work from here. This is a walk in the park in comparison. We all just work so well together, and everybody brings their talent in, and we're just like... Amazed. I've learned so much on these sets and I fully intend on continuing in art direction after this because I've found my passion so it's really exciting. You got to do it. It's really really cool. It's yeah, the best experience I've had. Me too. I just I'm learning that I love it even more than I already did. So I just couldn't believe it. Come in and into a production as a student and this is this is what I get. It's, it's pretty crazy stuff. The experience in itself has been amazing in the fact that we can say that we created this project, we brought it together. I think uh, overall this has been a great experience for us and we really look forward to working on our next project.